You're going to build this circle in three pieces. So which piece goes over here? Alzheimer's is horrendous and it is the one thing that all nations share at this moment. It is the one um, situation that is causing the most turmoil um, for governments, for organizations, uh, and also for families all over the country. Regrettably, there is no cure. And so in the meantime, care becomes a priority and programs and services are really necessary. Support resources for family members is really important. And so what the Alzheimer's Foundation International hopes to do is to move from country to country and gather unto itself resources that then can be made available in a, in a greater way uh, to a community. An estimated 5 million Americans suffer from Alzheimer's disease and this number is expected to grow. A lot of countries are experiencing the results of the baby boomers. In the United States, for example, it is one in eight over the age of 65, if that number is accurate. Um, and starting January 1 of this year, for every day for the next 19 years, 11,000 Americans will be turning 65. So if you look at those numbers, you're seeing an increase of Alzheimer's in the United States. The Alzheimer's Foundation International has a vision to boost awareness of the disease and to scour the world to look for better treatments and innovations that can be shared. In Israel, which has about 200,000 known Alzheimer's patients, there are treatment centers, like this one, run in Jerusalem by Malabev. Their aim is to get them out of the house and into a social network. All the world say today, and also you can read it in the New York Times or everywhere, that to stay at home, it kills the people. So you must take them out, bring them to this kind of centers, and uh, this is what uh, happened. The center is better because you must go out from the home, you must dress nice. You come, you see your friend, even you don't remember the friend uh, day after day, but you see them and it's more uh, help. You like coming here? You like seeing your friends? I here? love it. Mm -hmm. I come regularly. Mm -hmm. I meet people who are interested in the same things I'm interested. Nobody's catting against anybody. We all enjoy the presence. They prepare us with such nice speeches. It lifts my day. Instead of sitting around and watching the boob tube or eating, you know, all the things you do to keep busy. While there is no cure for Alzheimer's, Israeli researchers have developed what they say is a computer game that can slow it down. It's called Savillon. If a patient works with this computer program two or three times a week, half hour every time, the Alzheimer can be stabilized or slowing down. It's not going, but it can be stabilized or slowing down. While it may look like a simple kid's game, Researchers say it is specifically designed to spark the brains of Alzheimer's patients. Cognitive therapies, um, activities that uh, you know highlight socialization, such as the group behind us that is meeting and, and, and sharing and spending time together, are all really critically important to staving off the progression of Alzheimer's disease. The AFI has welcomed membership of the Israeli Alzheimer's Foundation, and that will help share treatments like Savillon globally and boost awareness of the disease. Eric Hall says that Alzheimer's still has a negative stigma which may prevent people from treating it, but their outreach program is changing this. And making Alzheimer's um, a little bit more palatable, accessible uh, to a population that is terrified, fearful, and uh, there's an enormous amount of stigma that surrounds this disease. That, those are some of the, the things that we all share as a, every single country I've gone to. You know, the fear and stigma around Alzheimer's disease is very real. It is a disease that does not discriminate, but it is a crisis and with the absence of a cure, we really need to figure out how we're going to do this. I believe, and the Alzheimer's Foundation International vision is simply that no one country, no one government can do this by themselves, and that perhaps a unified uh, international effort is most beneficial. This is Arie O'Sullivan reporting for the Media Line.